so so moving forward, closing up on this, what what's next for you? I mean, it's it's been a it's been a good but chaotic year for you. A lot of a lot of bucket list items have been checked. A lot of other non bucket list items have been checked as well. Like what what's the future for Tim Ritter and the FFX show? Uh, short term, right now we've got this FFX show. So if anybody watching this, please you know come on out to to see that. You can go to our website and click on tickets and that. But one other special thing I want to sort of uh, mention here, it's the first time we've announced it anywhere. Um, our family has been talking recently just about noticing all the stories we've come across of other families that are connecting to business. Because my daughter has been key um, to, you know, keeping this whole thing together. And my wife and my son, they, they all had parts in family fun experience. But we've gotten to know so many other families that are in business. And I know we have the uh, Small Business Saturday and Shop Small and that, that kind of effort that happened recently. Um, and people have focused on that through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the idea of shopping local or buying local. Uh, and those are really important because it keeps a lot of dollars in the local economy. But there's a subset of those businesses that the core of the business is the family. So like the example is the the, the couple that runs the, the print shop downstairs from us, um, a family that runs a little uh, mini mart kind of thing. And another family we know that owns a surf shop. And all these families, a family I know I saw multiple stores on the ocean front and elsewhere like we've all seen closing up and people have during this pandemic talked about reaching out to help support restaurants or help support you know these other businesses that are things they like to frequent but we found there are so many small businesses that are really run by a family and not small businesses not empires small businesses that are local they're run by families and they might provide cleaning services they might provide supplies to something they, they, they are totally behind the scenes. They're not like the the ones that everybody sees and can just, you know, walk in and, you know, buy their lunch or do things like that. And so we really started thinking about how discouraging it's been for so many families. And a lot of them have had to call it quits. You know, we mentioned a few of them in the show here today. Um, had to, you know, give up on, on decades. I know um, somebody that's uh, closely involved with us has, uh, you know, it's a, family business, but they run a, a number of franchises in the area. And the the deep investment they've made to try to keep their employees paid this year but on top of PPP, even though their business has been, you know, one of the other really hard hit businesses. I mean, they, they've taken a large, I mean, a, a nest egg out of their entire retirement and everything else just to keep the business afloat. And it's not like when all this comes back in you know, X number of months we go through, like Zach was saying, that that money ever has a chance of returning. If it returns to normal, you know, there's 20 years of what they've, you know, invested in their business that was just spent on trying to survive this year. You know, that doesn't just come back to them in a year or, you know, and they probably don't have another 20 years left. Um, so it, it's, it's hard seeing how hard this has been and how discouraging this has been for so many families. And when you have a family business, it's not like, you know, it's just the small thing or a job or um, all the normal struggles. It's, it's also really deeply interwoven. All the, all the struggles we've talked about are really deeply interwoven into the family itself. Um, and I know you guys probably know a, a number of other family businesses in the area. And so we decided to start sort of a special campaign uh, from now through the end of the year, sort of the idea of the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, and we don't want to see any more family businesses that are sort of in those hidden areas. And, you know, and some of them are a little more uh, known, but any of those family businesses just to be so discouraged that they have to call it quits, that they have to, to give up everything and that they don't know how to survive through all this. And, you know, we can't create a government program and, and, have trillion dollar bailouts or anything like that to, to help these any more than anybody else can with the rest of it. But we thought what we could do is help them with, with three things. We want to create some donations uh, and we'll nominate businesses through that to be able to help them pay at least one bill just as some kind of tangible support saying, Hey, we know it's been a rough year and we want you to know the community around you cares about you. Um, we want to provide them something fun. And so whether that's a game we send them or tickets to something or whatever it is, something that the family can do together. Because when a family's in business and they're going through times like this, they do not spend much time doing anything other than just trying to survive. And we know that they need some 
some encouragement as a family as well. And then the third thing we're asking people if they feel so inclined to either send positive thoughts or prayers or whatever um, their way and just, just pray for them. You know, so on top of that, you know, do the same thing you've been doing, shop small. So we started a, a website yesterday called One Less Straw, number one dash less that straw. The idea of we can take one straw off that camel's back. We know that, you know, the family of camels is going to work hard and they're going to, you know, keep that business plowing ahead because it means everything to them as a family um, and to their employees and all the tangent businesses that are supported by that family. Every time that one of those family businesses go under, there's all those tangential businesses that are impacted right. as well. And so we thought if we can start something just to one the straw and we're starting here, but we're asking people to share that regionally, nationally, you know, we, you know, we'll try to support as many families as we can. We're not trying to just support just the, Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads area, but we're trying to start it here. That's great. You're right here first. I love it. It's interesting because, you know, a lot of people talk about um, um, an aircraft carrier leaving and the uh, effects of that. I mean, if you think about COVID, it's like all of the aircraft carriers leaving at once. And so it's been uh, hugely uh, impactful to, to so many. And so thank you for that. one dash less straw.com. Is that what it is? Yep. one less straw.org. One less straw. Dot org. Appreciate you being with us, Tim, you doing that and uh, looking forward to you seeing success now in 2021 and in five to 10 years as well, like you said. So uh, looking forward to seeing you in person at some point down the future as well. And uh, thank you so much for being on the Fervent Four Show until next week. We'll see you guys next time. Appreciate it. Peace and pancakes. And if you want pancakes, maybe sometime get them at the FFX show because they have a full kitchen. Just ask them for pancakes. Say Zach Miller sent you. I mean, he'll have to make them. So, we peace. Got second back, cooking pancakes. There you go. Extra maple syrup. <laughs> uh, peace, y'all.